The tiger and the power it represents have always fascinated us. At the beginning of the 20th century, there were still 100,000 tigers in the forests of Asia. The first tigers came to America as entertainers. Before zoos and circuses controlled their breeding, surplus animals found their way into private hands. Soon, everyone from the rich and famous to companies and sports teams wanted a piece of the big cat. For many Americans, like the character of Tony Montana in the movie Scarface, owning a tiger became a symbol of success. Martin Dennis is a celebrity veterinarian and was one of the first to specialize in exotic animals. His talent and his reputation led him to work for A-list stars like Michael Jackson and the magicians Siegfried and Roy. He witnessed firsthand the rise of the American tiger population. The tiger pet phenomenon became a trend, I would say, in the early 60s. We could be driving in Beverly Hills and see a person driving a convertible with a tiger sitting up in the back seat or people owning a Jaguar, a big Jaguar, driving around in their Jaguar with it. There were no import restrictions. There were no restrictions on the sale out of the pet shop of these kind of animals. You know, a little tiger cub is nice and cute. So people thought it would be fashionable. It was unique. They could show it off. And it was trendy then. 